Hello hello everyone, this Man United inside again on it, welcome back, Manchester United players questioning Eric Ten Hag's decision to pick Johnny Evans over Rafael Verani, Manchester United players are said to be questioning Eric Ten Hag over his decision to start Johnny Evans over Rafael Verani in Wednesday's loss against Copenhagen. United slipped to their ninth defeat in 17 games so far this season, with the Dutch manager failing to deal with a host of injuries and exiled players. Ten Hag may have thought he had eased some of the pressure with a last gasp 1-0 win against Fulham last weekend, but any brief reprieve was halted after their 4-3 defeat to Copenhagen in the Champions League. Having gone two goals ahead after a brace from Rasmus Hodgland, United found themselves on the back foot after Marcus Rashford's red cards. They were level at the break end, despite edging ahead courtesy of Bruno Fernandez's penalty, eventually succumbed to a 4-3 defeat after two late goals from the Danish side. And now, it has emerged that several players in the squad were left unhappy with some of the team selections, according to a report, in particular, the decision to start 35-year-old Evans instead of four-time Champions League winner Verony in central defense has raised eyebrows. Verony was ultimately introduced after just 15 minutes when the Northern Irishman went down with injury but struggled alongside Harry Maguire for the rest of the game. In addition, the late decision to bring on Mason Mount for Hodgland up front, which attracted criticism from commentator Robbie Savage, caught players by surprise too. The dressing room is still said to be in favor of the 53-year-old continuing, and there is no indication from the club that his job is under threat. However, it does once again ramp up the pressure around Old Trafford, with the Red Devils eighth in the league and bottom of their Champions League group. United host Luton Town this weekend before the international break as they look to pick up just their second win in their last five games. Anthony, Jaden Sancho and Anthony Marshall to be dumped by Man United in January, the underwhelming trio of Anthony, Jaden Sancho, and Anthony Marshall all face their Manchester United career being cut short in the January transfer window. The Sun reports that all three players could be dumped in the winter market as part of a player recruitment shakeup brought about by Sir Jim Ratcliffe's impending arrival at the club. It is stated in the newspaper that Ratcliffe is demanding explanations for the eye-watering £1.4 billion that has been spent on players since Sir Alex Ferguson called it a day on his managerial career in May 2013. This has led to the Mancunian billionaire deciding to implement a massive overhaul of the club's scouting department and acquisition network. It is normal that the British businessman would want to stamp his authority on the club from the get-go. The publication goes on to claim that not only players, but higher-ups could be on Ratcliffe's hit list. The Sunwriter, Ken Lawrence, asserts that CEO Richard Arnold, football director John Murto and director of football operations David Harrison are in jeopardy of being fired and replaced once Ineos rubber stamped their 25% purchase of the club. Radcliffe, the lifelong fan, is said to be exasperated at the vast sums wasted since the Red Devils' last Premier League title in 2013. The article highlights the £89 million on Paul Pogba, £85.5 million on Anthony, £75 million on Lukaku and the £73 million on Sancho as illustrations of such wastage. This return has only led to the meager total of four major trophies in a decade, two League Cups, one FA Cup and one Europa League. The manager, currently in the hot seat, Eric Ten Hag, is said to retain the support of Ineos and Ratcliffe and he still has credit in the bank. However, the fact that one of the Dutchman's marquee signings Antony is not only embroiled in legal problems but also performing at a comically low level must be a concern. The Sun article goes on to claim that Ten Hag has spent £374 million on initial fees since taking over the managerial reins in May 2022 and as the People's Person has recently stated, the recruitment has been questionable at best. Apparently Ratcliffe has already held discussions with co-chairman Joel Glazer over United's whole football structure and hopes to make a flurry of changes at board and player level. This could lead to the sale of underperforming players. It is hard to fathom that £73 million Sancho and £40 million Donny van de Beek are currently outcasts at the club for differing reasons. The scarcely believable £85.5 million outlay on Antony is also incredibly hard to stomach given his performances so far this season. However, it is unlikely that these players will all be sold in the January window. Antony's agent has recently rubbished reports of such a move. This claim has also been backed up by the reliable Fabrizio Romano. 
Moreover, despite frequent links away from the club, it is far-fetched to suggest the club will sanction any move for Marshall unless their light attacking options are bolstered. One such option is Porto striker Mehdi Taremi. However, it is yet to be seen whether the club will move for the experienced Iranian goalgetter in the winter market. The most likely sale is certainly that of Sancho. The Englishman is yet to apologize to the Dutch coach and since the game against Arsenal in September, has been sidelined from the senior team. The 23-year-old has even apparently removed from the first team's WhatsApp group. Never a dull moment for Manchester United fans. The lack of any sign of rapprochement between Sancho and Ten Hag coupled with the fact the club has been looking at right-wingers since the summer, probably suggests the England international is the most likely winter departure by a significant distance. Whether or not any of this transpires as rapidly as January is anyone's guess, but what is clear is, none of the three mentioned players seem to have any serious long-term future at the club and the Red Devils will need to upgrade on all of them to scale the dizzying heights of the Premier League summit. Sir Jim Ratcliffe could sack Manchester United CEO Richard Arnold, football director John Murto and director of football operations David Harrison on Monday when takes control of the club's football operations, according to The Sun. The British billionaire and Ineos owner is closing in on the acquisition of 25% of the Old Trafford club and is expected to start calling the shots on major footballing decisions next week. Radcliffe is expected to oversee a major overhaul at Man United, and the jobs of the aforementioned trio are at risk. The OGC Nice owner is shocked that the Red Devils have spent around £1.4 billion on players since Sir Alex Ferguson left in 2013 in exchange for just one FA Cup, two League Cups and a Europa League title. Ed Woodward was Man United CEO from 2012 to 2022 before Arnold succeeded him, Murto was named Director of Football in March 2021 having spent five years as the Director of Development while Harrison was only appointed in February of this year. Nevertheless, they could all be made to pay for the underwhelming campaigns the Red Devils have had in recent years as Ratcliffe comes on board. Ineos director of sports and his right-hand man Sir Dave Brailsford is expected to join him at Man United and play a significant role when it comes to making key decisions about major calls. The Old Trafford club paid £89 million for Paul Pogba, £75 million for Romelu Lukaku and £59.7 million for Angel Di Maria, and all flopped, while results are yet to be seen for the £85.5 million paid for Anthony, the £73 million for Jadon Sancho, the £44.5 million for Anthony Marshall and the £40 million for Donny van de Beek. Manager Eric Ten Hag also brought in Andre Onana, Mason Mount, Rasmus Hodgland and Sofian Amrabat during the last summer transfer window, and only the Denmark international has managed to impress even though he is yet to open his goal-scoring account in the Premier League.